Here we are with our tiebreaker, Mike Secord. Hey, Mike. Hey, how's it going? Good. I mean, it's not necessarily like a, we didn't really fight about this, but you, I wanted to bring you on this episode because you're a coach with um, your mm-hmm. company's called Coach's Corner. And you're also a real estate agent out of Michigan yep. with Keller Williams. Mm-hmm. So I think yep. you're the perfect person to answer this question. I don't so, know if I'm the perfect person, but I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know. So what are the top three reasons that agents succeed? Well, you know, it's just like anything in, in what we do when you ask questions, you can come up with a thousand answers. Right. But if I had to pick the top three best ones, I think number one is they set ambitious goals. They go all in on their strategies. They don't go half in. They don't go partly in. They go all in. Okay. And there's no fear. So they just set ambitious goals and go in. But what do you think Second, about people that um, say, like, if they set their goals too high and they're, like, not making it, then they freak out. Whereas if they set them lower, they won't stop and they'll go do more. Well, that's a great that's a great thing. I had, I had a coach that told me two things because I had the same question to him years uh-huh. ago. And the one thing he said was, you can't hit the target without aiming it slightly above it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the second thing he told me was, Mike, if you, if your goals aren't big enough to where people are laughing at you, then you're not thinking big enough. Yes. I and I was like, holy cow, that life. is really funny. I know. Like, what's um, that saying? Like, first they call you crazy, then they call you for advice. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and, if you, and if you're not doing those things, you're just being average. Yeah. No, I think it's great. <laughs> I mean, when I went and traveled, um, before COVID like around the world for a year and still ran our real estate business, people were like, you're insane. Second COVID hit, my phone was ringing off the hook. I was like, exactly. Yeah. See, yeah. I'm a trendsetter. <laughs> That's right. How do you do it? <laughs> yeah. How do you do it? What do you do? I did and not everyone, help them. I hung up on them. I'm just kidding. Everyone thought Steve Jobs was nuts. Yeah. But they all wanted to be him. Exactly. All right. I love it. Yes. Okay. So my second one is speed of implementation. Okay. That is the big thing. They, they implement fast. They don't think about it. They don't get ready to run the race and keep talking about it. Yeah. They get in it. Yeah. Um, and if they, if they don't succeed, they just get up and run again. Right. You know, it's so. So is that really more one. like they're not really like not only implementing fast, but it also sounds like not really like it's okay that it doesn't work. Like, you know? Well, yeah. And, and I think, I think as a top producer, you start realizing that what is, what is it, what does it mean when it doesn't work? It, it, it always works to some, some extent. It may not get you the full result that you wanted, but it still got you farther than you were before you did it. No, that's a good point. And that reminds me, um, there was this one time, because I have a lot of ideas and I actually hired a coach to like help me filter through the ideas. And it was like, I said, as we filtered through, I said no to so many things and it was like way more liberating. And that's kind of how I'm picturing what you're saying now. It's like, just get in there and try it because then you know, like if it's not gonna work, you can stop it or you can- change it or you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that's And you great. don't know it's going to work until you try it. Yeah. And I feel like dealing, I mean, you're a coach, but mm-hmm. when I was a coach, I dealt with a lot of newer agents and it was like them, like just trying to figure out their business plan for 10 months. And I'm like, dude, you have no clients, like get a client. Nobody cares about yeah. your plan. Like get no. out there and talk to people. Mm-hmm. What's yeah. your plan for the next 30 days? Don't tell me a year. Tell me yeah. what you're going to do now. Or 30 minutes, man. <laughs> or that, yeah. I'm going to tie my shoes. That's a good first step. <laughs> right. Exactly. All right. I like that one. That's good. <laughs> it is. And then my third my third thing, this is just the, the completely obvious. They just simply talk to more people. Boom. On a daily basis. They Mind talk job. to more people. Yep. Yep. And, you know, and that was something I noticed my first year in the business. I walked around, I had my breakdown. I was like, oh, this sucks. Looking at everything, couldn't believe what my 1099 was. Couldn't believe that I had to pay taxes when no one told me about anything about taxes and all those good things that go on. Mm -hmm. But I just walked around that office and I was like, man, if that guy's making a buck, there's no way I can make two. Yeah. And what I realized, the only thing stopping me from making more money than him was 
that goofball is talking to more people. Right. Right. That's the easiest thing I could control. He's out there being crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, like it. The only so, thing I heard you say today is be insane. That's what I heard you say. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I mean, you gotta, you gotta laugh. You gotta be, gotta be a little crazy. You gotta show a side that's really you that nobody sees. Yeah. That's cool. Do we get a bonus tip? Come on, give us a bonus. Give us a bonus tip. Okay. Well, you know, I, I think it really comes down to my bonus here is you got to be consistent in what you do every day. You know, we were talking earlier and you were talking about consistency. And what I have found is that people are consistent every day. Okay. It's just the choice of what they choose to be consistent about. They're either consistently doing the things that are going to get them where they want to go, mm -hmm. or they're consistently doing the things that are keeping them where they are, such as do you consistently hit the snooze button six or eight times before you get, get out of bed. Yeah. If you do, you're always that person that gets up and says, man, I just have trouble getting out of, getting out of bed. I sleep in, I do this. Just make the choice to get up. Yeah. That's, that is really good advice. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And, well, I really appreciate yeah. you being on. If people I appreciate have a referral, it too. Yeah. If people have a referral for you in Michigan or I know that your coaching is not just real estate related. It's like business coaching as well, right? Yeah. Anyone that, you know, I, I help all entrepreneurs. If you're in, in sales, you're looking to grow. It's all the same thing. We're all talking to people. We're all doing the exact mm -hmm. same stuff. So, you know, I just, I believe a, a simple little strategy and I've broken down to the, to this equation. Success starts with mindset, mindset times action then you add accountability mm -hmm. equals success. Yep. So I believe everything starts with the mindset. Once you get the mindset right, you can start doing the activities you need to do. Mm -hmm. You can start being held accountable to your goals and the success will come. So that, that happens in any business, whether you're yeah. selling real estate, doing mortgages, running a restaurant or anything. You know, anything. Just yeah, talking no, to people. Sense. What's the best way to get a hold of you? Best way to get a hold of me, uh, they can... Go directly to, you can email me at mike at coachescornerwithmike.com. Uh, you can go to my website, launchyoursuccess.net. You can check out my program that's there. Mm -hmm. um, you can call me on my cell phone, which is perfectly fine, 586-557-7319. Um, so there's all kinds of ways you can get a hold of me. And You're pretty easy out. to find. I'm pretty easy. I don't, I don't hide with this face. I should hide, but I don't. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I want to remind everybody too that we'll be talking about this on Thursday, noon Eastern on Clubhouse. So if you have some tips that we missed, definitely hit us up there and um, we'll hear what you yeah, have to say. Before, before I go, I just want, I have something special for the group. If you go to oh. the launchersuccess.net yeah. and you check out, I have a program on there and it's just a 12 step program to get you through. It's kind of about the foundation of getting your business going and getting your mindset in the right spot. Mm -hmm. If you go to that, I have a course for $19. I have a 50% off coupon for you guys. If you put in fight club in the promo, you get it for nine bucks. Nice. So just check it out. So yeah. Well, I'll um, put the link too on there. Yeah. So people can use it. That'd be awesome. I appreciate, I appreciate it. that. Thanks a lot. Well, thanks. Like 12 steps. We all need 12 step programs. I we do. You're a realtor. We do. We do. 12 steps to business, 12 steps to not drinking. All that. Mm -hmm. All that. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks a lot, Mike. <laughs> All right. I appreciate it. Have a good, Have a good day. day. You too.